You know, sometimes we, folks will say, well, can we show a picture or two? We say, yeah, two would be great. It's like eight or ten or something like that. So. Indeed, these children are precious in his sight. And we've had parent and children dedications, and we just want you to know that when parents bring their children before the Lord, we have spent time with them in training and instruction of what we call milestone number one in the legacy pathway of leaving a legacy of how to obey God's commands. And Andrew and Courtney, Daphne's mom and dad, have been through this class, and we had a great time with them. And we talk about Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7. And I think Michael's probably got that for us. Michael, you want to pop that up? And uh, I'd like for you to join in. You don't have to stand, but let's join in and read this together. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I have given you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road and when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. I remember some of you, when you were building your homes, you would have those kind of parties at your house where we would write scripture all over the frames and the floors and the ceilings and the walls of your house so that before all the finishing touches were made, that house would be covered in the Word of God. What we want to do is cover this family in the Word of God with prayers and blessings today. Andrew and Courtney, I remember your day when you got married a few years ago. I was there. <laughs> and then the joy that we felt when the baby came. Imagine after all of the things that went on with Mary and Joseph, and how baby Jesus came. What, a, what an unbelievable story that was. Don't you think? But you know what? Even with all the angelic appearances and the voices of God and angel choirs and the celebration in the manger or in the stable uh, in front of the manger where Jesus lay, Mary and Joseph didn't forget about one very important thing. They needed to present Jesus to God the Father. And so here at Town Center, we present our children in the example that Mary and Joseph gave us when they presented Jesus to God and got the blessing of, of all those who were in the temple that day. And so today, like Christ, you have brought, like Mary and Joseph did, Daphne to be dedicated. And we're all about helping you as you raise her and encouraging you to know the word of God and to follow God's commands. So congratulations, and we are so excited about what's happening in your lives. Andrew and Courtney, here are those questions that we talked about, right? <laughs> will you choose this day to live with the commands of God on your hearts? So answer, we will. Do you accept responsibility as Daphne's primary faith influencers to impress the truth and love of God on her Praying for her to accept Jesus Christ as her personal Savior one day. If so, say we will. And family, all you cute little people that we have known for 16, some of you aren't so little, I guess, but um, to your family, to Daphne's family, um, will you support and love this family and encourage them with your love and prayers? So answer we will. Tom Center. Will you partner with these parents by praying for them as they lead Daphne spiritually? So answer, we will. And will you partner with these parents by teaching Daphne at church when you see these parents in the hallway coming to get their little Daphne from the classrooms? When you see them walking in and you can tell it's been a short night of sleep. Will you partner with them by teaching Daphne at church and modeling a Christ-like lifestyle in support of what these parents are teaching and modeling at home? If so, will you join us in standing? Let's pray together. 
Father God, your word says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's a commitment that Andrew and Courtney have made before you and before us today. Thank you for the extravagant attention to the details of their family's past, present, and future. And today, we especially thank you for this precious family. Andrew and Courtney and little Daphne, truly all gifts from you. And may they continue to grow, to love you, Father, with all of their heart, soul, mind, and strength. May this Reed family continue to enjoy a life full of love and, and joy and laughter in a home where you are loved and where you are honored and where you are served. And thank you, Father, for this dedication moment where we can all celebrate and commit with these dear parents. For all your glory, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated, church. Andrew and Courtney have selected a verse that they're going to read and pour in over the life of Daphne now. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua. Joshua. Now, um, the embarrassment's not over. Um, because um, young John and Courtney's birthday is actually today. Now, where do you find brothers and sisters with birthday on the same day? I'll never forget when we first moved to our house almost 16 years ago, um, we met John, I, I actually met John across the fence, and I go, this is a very tall guy, this is a big guy. And uh, I invited him over for a Pepsi, and we sat down, and the first thing he said to us was, I'm sorry, oh people. I was still from the West, you know. I, I, I have Diet Coke now. Um, wow. I never imagined a hostile crowd. So I asked John about his family. He said, well, my wife's a flight attendant for Delta, and my kids um, are John and Courtney, and John was just a year younger than our youngest son, and so they became fast friends with our two boys. But he said, and our kids were born on the same day, not on the same exact day, but they have the same birthday. And, and I looked at him and I said, you gotta be kidding me. He goes, no, he said, family planning. <laughs> he said, that way we only have to remember one birthday. But I remember what a great thing that was. So let's sing happy birthday to John. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You can go down. Happy birthday, John and Courtney. In parts, please.